Oh shit. All right. Whew. I was going to drop it in for the intro, but I didn't want to keep slamming the box down. Um, yo, what is up my fellow collectors? This is Ahsoka. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining in today. So today's video is something that's kind of been in the works for a while. I've been buying a lot of things over the last year, but I've picked up some sealed product from a lot of different hobbies. And so it's always something I've wanted to do is get into other hobbies and collectibles and just have fun. Um, especially with the price of Pokemon. I mean, I, I, the prices that I got out at, those prices were pretty high. But I mean, they're nothing compared to the beginning of 2020 or 2021 right now. Some of those sealed boxes. I, I remember paying $300 for three Team Rocket Returns boxes. This was $300 for each one. You know, $500 for EX Deoxys. Uh, God, I remember I, I was like in the military and... Uh, I was at a hotel and I was looking at some auctions and I remember there was a Skyridge box there and I was like you know what am I gonna buy it it's got like one of those little flaps that was folded back and I was like man like that's a lot of money 500 bucks so I really want to like this is like it's getting up there right and so before I went to bed I was just watching it and I hit it and I won 450 bucks for a Skyridge box uh honestly I have no idea what happened to that box I'm, I know I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I sold it since but you know, back then, 500 bucks was like, Jesus, what am I buying? So, yeah, prices, I mean, no, I don't think anybody could have fathomed what prices are now. So, yeah, it's, it's collecting sealed nowadays is difficult. And, you know, with going for graded cards and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of impossible to do both. So I thought it'd be fun to buy some booster packs and booster boxes from other hobbies. You know, things that I've enjoyed as a kid, things that I sometimes occasionally watch as an anime or played for video games. So that's kind of where I got some of these things from. Some of it will be Pokemon, but, you know, other stuff will be other um, trading card games. So, yeah, first one that I'm going to show you guys is this Power Rangers. So I watched Power Rangers as a kid. I got White Ranger, Tommy over here. Uh, so I remember watching this as a kid, like 6 a.m., waking up in the morning. Why this show was on locally at 6 a.m., I have no idea. But I remember waking up early when one of my parents was up just to, you know, I'd hear them up. I'd get up. I knew if I got up, I'd be able to watch this in the morning. So I thought this would be kind of fun to open up. You know, I don't think there's anything crazy in here. You know, these were like 30, 40 bucks. So this was something interesting. And, you know, hopefully I'll open it up on the channel. Uh, getting into something you guys know me for. I bought some ETBs from Pokemon. So this is Vivid Voltage. And I don't recall. Uh, oops, stuff falling. Another one. So I don't actually know if I opened up any ETBs back in the day. I think last year I think I bought some Burning Shadows. So Hidden Fates. And what goes better than one Hidden Fates is Numero Dos. All right. And so, yeah, I, I don't recall actually opening these things or even really caring much about them, but the value has gone up. And I think, you know, since I used to get things from Dave and Adam Card, Dave and Adam's Card World, I was always more worried about the, the singles and getting the cards. And it was always more cost efficient to go with the boxes. So I just kind of ignored the ETBs for the longest time. So this is just something I think I'm going to start collecting and just doing a few ETBs. It's kind of fun for, a, you know, a backdrop or having some fun like that. And maybe... I'll open them up. Maybe I'll use them as trade. Who knows? But I think it's kind of fun. I like the artwork on it. So that's kind of what I've done there. So the next thing, this is going to go, the rest of this stuff will be non-Pokemon related. So none, none of this is crazy, but if you want to find out about other hobbies, I definitely encourage you to stick around. There's plenty of interesting hobbies that are out there. And a lot of us know, you know, we're into one hobby. We're pretty familiar with other stuff. And you might have watched it as a kid. So for me, this is my favorite anime of all time. This was around when Dragon Ball Z was around. And so I picked these up because these are something that I was actually looking towards. This and Final Fantasy were things that I was looking at kind of towards the tail end of me selling my collection. You know, I wasn't sure what to do. I wanted something new. I love Yu Yu Hakusho, my favorite anime of all time. It's also the same author, Yoshiro Togashi, the same person that did Hunter x Hunter, you know, where I get my name Hisoka from. Which is absolutely incredible story. The story is better than Yu Yu Hakusho, but I just, it's nostalgic for me. Yu Yu Hakusho is what I watch. You know, I, I watch Dragon Ball, but I never got into Dragon Ball quite like I did with Yu Yu Hakusho. Just the story and the elements were just so much better than Dragon Ball. And in my opinion, I think Yu Yu Hakusho is connected to the current, um, 
Hunter x Hunter stories based on the where this story ends and where they're going currently. So maybe that'll be cool. That's just my personal theory. But let's get into the boxes. So this is, we'll start off first with the Big Daddy. With these TCGs that have failed, usually the last set is the most is the most valuable and rarest to find. So this is a Alliance first edition. This is the last set produced. I'm pretty certain I could be wrong on that one, but this was the last set produced. This is Demon Yusuke from the Three Kings or the Dark is Three Kings or Dark Kings um, saga, the the last one that came out. So this is him in his Mazuko form with his tattoos, his hair. It's a pretty beat up box. These boxes are kind of easily damaged. Yusuke right there with a... I feel like that's a Spirit Wave orb right there. The back, Ryzen. Got the Three Kings. There we go, right there. Ryzen. So yeah, this is this is a very rare box. You know, this cost me probably about $1,000. Maybe a few hundred dollars more if it's in a, a better condition. But honestly, this is something that you don't see come up very often. I was lucky to get it from a Facebook group. Uh, the second box I picked up was a... Betrayal box. This is first edition as well from a Facebook group as well. Same one. Uh, if you if you're interested in it, let me know on Instagram and I'll try to connect you with the group. But this box cost me about 340 bucks. It is Yoko Karama, and I'm not sure of the order of it compared to the set. I just thought the box looked really stunning. You got Yomi over here. Oh yeah, Yomi's in there. Yoko Karama, Demon Karama. I love the artwork on the front. So I picked that one up. This one was something I picked up. It is a dark tournament with Young Genkai on there. First edition as well. This cost me about uh, $200, or I think $180, but yeah, I just, it was great condition, a little loose, but it's really great condition for, you got Bui right there, Hie, nothing else I think on there, but yeah. So this is, this is one of the boxes there. The Dark Tournament, really good saga. You got a great villain with Taguro. And, you know, the, obviously her and Taguro have a past. Kind of an interesting story uh, with Yu Yu Hakusho where the villains, you kind of start to empathize with the villains. Like, the characters are more complex. And so, for me, I've just, I really like that the story wasn't just, I'm some evil bad guy. I'm Frieza. I want to take over the universe. And, yeah, I have to fight you. <laughs> so, it, stories are a lot different. I'll probably get some hate from the Dragon Ball folks but yeah just my favorite anime of all time i want to knock out the boxes in first edition and possibly unlimited other than that i think i'm going to go for the 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 kings they have these really cool um cards in there uh, this video is probably going to be long and, and rambling so hopefully you guys learn something new but this tcg has i believe in this set and this set and maybe one more they have these uh king cards they're kind of like the legends from pokemon where you have the top and bottom except you have uh you know, uh, it's basically four cards that make up the kings. One of the kings, you got Yusuke, uh, the Raver. You got Ryzen, Yomi, Makuro. So you got the Raver, Yusuke, the Raver, or Reaver, uh, Ryzen, Yomi, and Makuro. So you got four kings, four cards that make up that kind of like a legend style, really cool. Uh, so I want to get those, and I also want to get the. Um, there, there's another card from there. It's uh, I think it's called the Dark One. It's a promo. So, from what I've heard from the knowledgeable folks of uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, that card was a promo card that was supposed to be in, I think, Betrayal or Gateway. And so that card was it was a promo and it was supposed to be in there. Unfortunately, I think the, the cards got stolen from an employee. I think the person ended up going to Australia. And so the cards were just never put into the uh, boxes. So they just kind of got turned into promos that were given out the tournament. And that was kind of... You know, they're they're held by employees and they were given away at tournaments and a few here and there, but they're pretty rare and they're, you know, thousand, two thousand dollar promos. So that's kind of you know the story on Yu Yu Hakusho. I'll definitely be doing more uh stuff as I get it in, and I'm I'm definitely looking forward to growing this collection. And the last things I picked up here are Final Fantasy. So this is Final Fantasy Opus 1. This is a sealed booster box, 36 packs. And these are 44 loose packs over here from same thing, Opus 1. Picked these up from a person on Instagram. Paid about uh, 300 something for this or 350 and then somewhere around the same for this because they were loose, so I got them a little cheaper. Um, yeah, so I really love Final Fantasy and I wanted to get in it, but it just, in 2016, 17, uh, excuse me, ugh, 
a little heartburn. It, a lot of these hobbies weren't that known and the information wasn't as widely available as Pokemon was. So that's something that Pokemon has going for it compared to a lot of the other hobbies. You don't really get the ease of information. There, there's things that I've learned about it that, you know, I would like to share if the person will allow me, but you know, the, the, the story about the, the dark one promo from Yu Yu Hakusho, the, um, you know, this right here with, with these sets, there's wave one and wave two. I think it's well known that the wave one sets came to, or they were shipped to the UK and Australia first. The US didn't get them. So if you got some of these from the UK, you were likely to get that. And so there's some, there's some ways to tell if you have a wave one box, but the only way to know for certain is to look at